Hello and welcome back to Amanda Lectures. Today, oh, I am your host, Jay Corby. Today we will be talking about Najee Harris, the running back at, the senior running back out of L Alabama. Okay, to start, one of his major things going for him is his ability to catch out of the backfield. He has shown this year and throughout his college career that he's a good, he can catch passes even if they're good or if they're bad passes from the quarterback by he, he's able to make those fingertip catches and then he's able to extend the plays using his elusiveness which he is also good at this would make him a good back in the Matt LaFleur system because he does like to throw lots of screens and he also likes to move the running back out into the out wide and use him as like a makeshift wide receiver so that would be a good thing going for him if Matt LaFleur was to draft him so Another thing, as I said earlier, was that he's able to get open if, even if there's a man close onto him because of his elus elusiveness. He has a couple moves that are very good for him. One is that he is able to hurdle lots of people through his college career. And from what I've seen each year, he has been able to get higher and higher in terms of his jumps. So this could mean that he could elevate even more so that it is effective in the pros because you don't really see every weekend that somebody gets hurdled, but if he's able to keep going and keep getting higher jumps, that could be useful. Another thing that's useful with him is that he is has the other moves with the spin move, because he's able to spin move very good. And this gets him out of close like chances with the guy on top of him. He just spin moves and that makes them miss tackles. And even his basic juke move is very effective and gets him open when there's a man right on him after screens and stuff like that. So that's also good for him. Another thing that he does have that will be good in the system is he has the breakaway speed. So if he gets out into the open after making a guy miss, he is able to accelerate away from everyone. So that is good. We'll have to see if this transitions to the NFL because we all know how big of a difference there is in terms of speed from going from college to NFL. So that is one thing that we'll have to make sure that it still happens in the NFL, but I think that will still transition, so that is good for us if we draft him. Um, some things that we do have to see is that he hasn't proven himself that much as a, as a power back, and that is something that will have to be changed because Matt LaFleur does like lots of hands ups up the middle. This doesn't have to be too concerning though because we do have AJ Dillon so he probably will be taking most of those reps as our main running back and we'll be using Najee Harris if we get him as more of a receiving back and more of like a back that we do the handoffs out to the outside so that won't be too bad but we'll still need him to be able to get big physical yards for us. So that is one thing he still needs to prove himself, that he's physical enough, he's able to run through people. So that is one thing that we have to see if that would be effective in this map before system. And the other thing that we haven't seen enough is his ability to block. We have seen throughout the years that how much Aaron Jones and how much Jamal Williams, they both had to get so much better at blocking just because of how much we use them in the blocking game and they sometimes they have to go up 1v1 against a linebacker coming down full speed. And they sort of just have to give them enough time for Aaron Rodgers to get out of the pocket and do what he does best. So we'll have to see if he's able to block good enough. I have not really seen enough evidence that he can block well or if he can't block at all. That's just something that he will have to make sure he improves on once he gets to the team. And that will make him just overall so much better. So... Yeah, and then as we go and look to if the Packers will actually pick him up, overall, I feel like we do have some bigger needs that should be addressed before we're getting him. Like I said a couple of videos ago, someone, some position like a corner or a linebacker, that probably is more needed than another running back, but it would be good if we can get another one-two punch. So, yeah, the couple of reasons that we will get him is this one-two punch that we've had over the years with Aaron Jones and Jamal Williams. Now, if we can transition that to A.J. Dillon and Najee Harris, that'd be great because Najee Harris is probably only a little bit drop off from Aaron Jones. And I feel like 
Dylan, as much as I love Jamal Williams, is a pretty big improvement. So it would be pretty much even or even better in the last couple of years in terms of our running game. So that would be good. And also, if we have A.J. Dillon as our main backer, and he's the one that takes a lot of the hand-ups up the middle, this could be letting Najee Harris be more of a split back that is used as a receiver, as a mixture of receiver, I said earlier, because that is something that someone like Aaron Jones was do often, where he would just go out wide and be used as like a slot receiver and just do little out routes, and that's something that Najee Harris does seem like he can do, so that's good for the team. So yeah, in the two running backs looks, I see him being motioned out to the outside, like an Aaron Jones. And overall, I feel like this would just be a great plug-in, this one-on-one -on -one plug-in from Aaron Jones to Najee Harris, so this could have us be able to still run the same type of offense that was the number one offense throughout this whole year and only got stopped twice by the Buccaneers, but I feel like we improve even more so that they can't stop us. So overall, I feel like this would be a good pick if they make it. I still feel like they should make other picks, but if it comes down to it and there's no really good corners left on the board and he's still up there, I feel like if we do take him, I won't be very mad because he is a very good player. And if you just look at even just his highlights, you can see that he definitely will make a big impact and he can get you a good five, 10 yards on any play that is needed for him. So I feel like if we have two running backs that can get good plays in terms of physical runner and AJ Dillon, and then elusive runner, Najee Harris, they'll just strike fear into the opposition's defense. That can never be a bad thing in terms of a receiving game because if we have two running backs that people don't want to face and Rodgers just have even more time to throw the ball so that's good so if you have any disagreements with me let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video hit the like button if you want to see more from me hit that subscribe button it'd be greatly appreciated and as always go back up